Melanie Wise, what did you, what did you think That's of That's when I have food in my mouth. I'll wait till you have food in your mouth. <laughs> Exactly. This is Melanie Wise uh, part two because part one is a product camp and this is a social media night. Social, what do we call this thing? This is the social media club. Social media national, club. Well, it's in the United States and this is the Austin division, Austin right. chapter, I guess you call it. And um, maybe about three or four months ago, I met the guy who started it. Oh, okay. And, and you're wi was, wise one. Wise one. That's and like the, Air Force One. The guy I've exactly. <laughs> do you have a Do you have a plane too? Uh, no, they're very obviously very expensive. You right. Have to be a, you know, millionaire. Right. But if you do get over. one, you you'll call it Wise One. I will exactly. I'll right. Have my own. Uh, it won't be a Virgin Air. Right. So what you, you're into marketing, as I remember, as I, I recall. I am marketing. I uh, am a marketing demand generation person who uh, helps to sell your products or services. My background is in high tech marketing, and I've sold just about anything and everything. Uh, so I do everything from marketing, advertising, communication, lead generation, trade shows, event planning, campaigns, press. The whole gamut, social media, just a little bit of everything. And she's looking for work right I now. I am looking for work. So I am, I'm not as positive about this term, but it is true. I'm a marketing generalist because I do a little bit of everything. And let me ask you this. What's that? Same thing I asked you at Product Camp. Remember what I asked you at Product Camp? Actually, I don't remember. What, I think you caught, what did I learn What did you learn about? tonight? What did you learn what did tonight? I learned the most tonight? I liked it because I haven't really heard of social media uh, in the education market. So that was very in the academia market, so that was very interesting to me. So I haven't uh, heard uh, anybody talk from Texas State. I got a student's opinion and some teacher's opinions and also UT MBA opinions. So I just learned how it's used in that type of environment versus how I use it in my consulting and also high tech. Melanie Wise, hire her. Hire, hire me. her now. Hire me. And Brian, Brian Massey, what did you learn tonight? What did I learn tonight? What did you I learn tonight? Learned, I learned that I'm glad I'm not in academia. <laughs> I need things to move a little bit faster. Of course, it's always the case, even my fast-moving clients aren't moving fast enough for me. What did you not learn tonight that you wanted to learn, came here wanting to learn, but didn't learn? Um, I don't think there was anything left out, quite frankly. It was a, a well-designed panel. You had people that taught, you had people that were students, you had people that were uh, an ancillary, you had people that were challenging the status quo. It was perfect. Now, what do you want to learn, period? What, I want to what learn do you want to learn right now? I want to learn where that tool lives that brings me all of my social media analytics in one place. Yes. Do you know where it is? Let me know. And you are the what scientist? I'm what the conversion kind of... scientist, Brian Massey, conversion sciences. Check out the blog, conversionscientist.com. And why do people need a convergent conversion? Scientist. I almost said convergent scientist, but I meant con conversion scientist. Conversion makes all of your other marketing efforts work. work. So if you're doing pay-per-click advertising, if you can just increase your conversion rate from 1% to 2%, you half the cost of what it takes to get, the, to get those leads as customers. All right, basics. Tell people what conversion is. What does that conversion. mean? is the conversion, the science of converting visitors into leads and or sales. Okay. Case study. Give us a quick case study. Quick case study. Something, quick case something study. Something TXU Energy was yeah. sending emails to a sizable list for their internet programmable thermostat. We came in, we introduced them some basic concepts. Landing pages. We have landing pages now at TXU that are converting at about 14%. So they send the same emails, but the emails are driving much more sales. So they can send fewer of them and enjoy the benefits of high conversion rates. Why don't you talk about the, uh, the average conversion? Because the percentage when I was doing some of my marketing was 3 to 5%. Uh, so tell me, I mean, your 15% that you said is very high. So 14%? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, what was their percentage before? Most, most businesses can expect to start somewhere between 
uh, one in five percent. Most of the clients that I start with have conversion rates below one percent, and it's mainly because they're sending their traffic to their homepage or something like that, or to their blog. Use a few landing page strategies, tie your ads or your marketing activities to those landing page strategies, you can start to see six, seven percent. You add some split testing where you test one page against the other and find out what works best. You can get yourself in that 10, 15, 20 percent conversion rate. Excellent. Which is absolutely amazing. It is. It is amazing. This and guy it's the can work wonders. It's the equivalent of every time you every time you double your conversion rates, you're going up halving the cost of all of your marketing. So it pays off, in other words. It pays off and conversion quickly. pays, correct? Conversion pays. All right. And this is a guy, Brian Massey, website conversionscientist.com. Twitter. Twitter. At B Massey, M A S S E Y. And Facebook? Facebook. Facebook.com slash conversion scientist. All right, real good. Thank you, Brian. Thank you. Amy Lemon, what did you learn tonight? What did you learn? What did, specifically, what did you learn? I learned actually not enough to come back in the morning on Tuesdays. <laughs> I do have something to add to the, what I learned. Is that it's not my age, it's not really what I learned, but it's what raised my curiosity. Is it my age group? Yeah, when I heard raised more, we didn't have social media, we didn't have web, we didn't have online, we didn't have online courses, education. So it's something that it's hard to get your hands wrapped around unless you're in that market right now. Now, a student. So you learned something tonight. What she said. <laughs> what she said. You learned what she said. I, I'm really out here to support my friend Dara Quackenbush and everyone in Texas State. They do a hell of a job. And um, the biggest testament was the student who spoke at the end. Um, that, that was great. And if he needs a job, he, he, he could have said, hey, I'm looking for so and so. And that would have been good too. Excellent. Excellent. What did you learn tonight? Rosa, what did you learn? <laughs> stop, stop, say what you learned. <laughs> did you an learn SEO, anything SEO tonight? No, no, no. Um, please, no, no. <laughs> all right, okay. all right. She She's wasn't awesome. here to, not everybody was, not everyone was here to learn tonight. Some people were just here to have fun. That's right. You know, yeah. But learning and fun go together. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Thank you, thank, thank you. you. Name again? B. B, what did you learn tonight? What did I learn tonight? I learned. And you you held the cards up, didn't I you? I did hold the cards. You played Vanna, Vanna White tonight. I did. Um, tonight I learned to just step out of my box a little bit more and go try some more social media things and try and in, incorporate that into my curriculum as well. And maybe try and pull my professors into it too, really get the faculty involved. Because as we learned tonight, it's maybe not as hard for the students to get involved as it is the faculty. And where do you go? Where do you go to school? Texas State University. And what's your Twitter name? At just B Barnett. Just B Barnett. Okay. J U S T B Barnett is B A R N E T T. So you learn actually learn something tonight. Every night I learn something. It's All right. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah, I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I